Cleveland Cougars. John Jenkins' ball team is hungry, coming off three straight losses. But Jack Crow knows what Houston is capable of doing, keeping Houston's 73-3 thrashing of Louisiana Tech firmly in his mind. Still, it's homecoming, and Razorback fans aren't about to let the Cougars rain on their homecoming parade. And on the very first play of the ball game, Houston will turn it over. This is Klingler, complete to Gilbert, tackled by Adams, who forced the fumble, and it was recovered by Johnson for a loss of seven, and Arkansas will begin the game after kicking off with great field position, and this sets up the first Arkansas touchdown. We'll see it after a play right here, and a good fake carried out by Jason uh, Allen, and Allen now will go to the air. 15-yard touchdown pass to Caldwell. It covers 16 yards in three plays, and despite an interference, Caldwell comes up with the touchdown pass. As, as we look at the play, you can see that we were trying to run a post corner, and we found out something right off the bat. These guys were supposed to be in man coverage 90% of the time, and as we come out of the, the post cut, the guy's playing outside of leverage, and he's got just as good a chance to catch the ball as Tracy does, and, and it's really a surprise, and we're dealing with, with that change of theirs through the whole first quarter and maybe even the first half of the ball game, unsure of whether they're in man or zone, which changes your whole passing game. Well, you can't relax against a Houston football team. This is Klingler scrambling at left end, but he'll lose four as he's chased out by Mallett. Klingler came into the game not feeling real well, and Arkansas had a lot to do with that. Miles at left tackle. This was a big play all day by the superback. It was left open, uh, but the Hogs went ahead to worry about covering the pass. Klingler now pass complete to Gilbert. A loss of two. Great play by Kennedy. The Arkansas 41. Then we'll see Miles again. On the ground, at left tackle, 19-yard pickup to the Arkansas 22. Collins makes the stop. But the Hogs stiffen here, and this field goal attempt is no good. And Arkansas will take over and put together an outstanding drive. Jason Allen back to pass, complete to Caldwell for six yards to the Arkansas 26. And then E.D. Jackson on the ground at right end, attacks it for six yards. He'll move it out to the Arkansas 32-yard line. Big play coming up here. This is a pass to the tight end, Botkin. And Botkin wanted to run with it before he caught the football. And so it'll uh, set Arkansas back. Allen now looking to pass again, but he's going to be sacked. And it forces the Hogs into a punting situation. And this leads to the Cougars' first score, and it's by their defense. The punt is covered in the end zone after being blocked by Chapman. They come up the middle, and it's a real concern to me. Very, very concerned that, that, uh, that we're not sound in this area because it's something that we have stressed and stressed. Uh, and, it's, and, and I think it is a, a matter of just some discipline, carrying through with every bit of detail and something that we will get straightened out. But they overload the middle and come up the middle and, and make the play. Well, the Hogs put together an outstanding defensive series for the Razorbacks as they stop a Houston drive. At the Cougars, will pick it up second and 22 at the Houston 47. This is Miles at right tackle for 24 yards to the Arkansas 29 where Banks makes the stop. And then Klingler back to pass. He'll find Guy for six down to the Arkansas 23. Klingler again will look to uh, pass. Fires down to around the 10, and the pass is dropped by John Brown. And then Guy at left guard for one. He won't make the first down, and the Hogs hold and take over on Downs' tremendous series on this particular play. And it fires the Arkansas defense, which was uh, terrific yesterday up once again. So Arkansas will take over second and seven at the Arkansas 24. Jason Allen finds Ron Dickerson Jr. down the middle, 17 to the Arkansas 41, Brown makes the stop. And we now move into the second quarter. Allen keeps it left in for a pickup of nine to the Houston 44, does a good job on the option here. Then Jason Allen again, back to pass, looking for Caldwell, and hits the outstanding receiver for 14 yards to the Houston 28. Kerwin Price had another outstanding day, and the big fullback hits up the middle inside for nine down to the Houston 19. Allen then was charged with a fumble but recovered it. The Hogs lost some yardage. Wright's field goal attempt good at 40 yards. 
and it's Arkansas 10 to 7 over Houston. Two teams exchange punts before the Hogs turn it over to Houston. Second and nine at the Arkansas 43-yard line. And this is going to be a big, big play. Langston's punt to James at the 39, 36-yard punt and a three-yard return. Allen back to pass. Intercepted on the Arkansas 44 by McCoy. There's a flag on the play at the end of this. E.D. Jackson does a great job and saves the touchdown. Flag goes down. There's a face mask violation. But watch Houston. They ignore from a yard out. Klingler back to pass, and he's going to be sacked on this play. The Cougars, as you take another look at it from ground level, Klingler is sacked by Mallett. Zeroes in on him. Nine-yard loss. And the Cougars, who are only a yard away, couldn't get it in the end zone. We start off by giving the ball to E.D. Jackson three times in a row. And E.D. Uh, makes a first down with three hard runs. Uh, then we come back and, and uh, try to make some runs again. Don't get them. We got third and ten. And Jason makes a great throw to Lee Keith on an under route. And he catches the ball. And he's a big body. And he turns up the field and smashes some people. And uh, he gets 14 yards and gets us going again. And then on first and 10, we come back and we get a penalty and we're in the hole a little bit. So we come back and throw the ball down the field to Ron Dickerson. Ron makes the catch. He gets the ball knocked loose, something that we certainly can't uh, let it happen, but it does happen here. And the impressive thing to me is, is you look and see who recovers this formal. That's E.D. Jackson, 33 yards down the field, who when the ball was thrown was pass blocking against the defensive end five yards deep in the backfield. Now, if that doesn't tell you about a guy hustling, I don't know what does. And, and this was, a, I thought he was the inspiration on this play and on this drive. Then we get down and we move uh, uh, closer with, with some great runs by E.D. And, uh, uh, and we end up on second and goal with a deceptive play uh, with motion uncovering our tight end on the backside of an unbalanced formation. Jason does a great job of uh, making the fake and then getting the ball to Kurt Bachman for the touchdown. I think that drive is probably the best thing we've done all year. I, I think it's something that we can do with more consistency. A terrific first half. So we want to establish momentum. Now we are third down and four, and we uh, Jason has got the opportunity here to check to the home run. We're basically in a short yardage situation. The defense is secondary is overplaying the run. He catches everyone within six yards of line of scrimmage, scrimmage, and he checks to the play action uh, fake and down the middle to Ron Dickerson. And it was a very bold call. It was a call he made at the line of scrimmage. It was one that we had discussed, but we're just off the mark. The Hogs hold back the Cougs again, forcing a field goal attempt that misses from 39 yards. And then after punts are exchanged, a big turnover recovery by Ty Mason. Douglas pass complete to Grant. Coming up here, but he's going to fumble. There's the field goal attempt, and it is no good. Anderson's 39-yard attempt. And as I mentioned, the defense really played well yesterday. Grant will fumble, and Mason will recover right here. This sparks us, and so many times this year, uh, the defense has set up the offense. We've responded to a, to a defensive turnover, and on this drive, that's exactly what happened. I thought along the way that getting the ball to a tight end underneath their linebackers was very critical because we had, we'd been throwing the ball across the middle, and the linebackers were starting to get... Uh, deep, but we completed the ball to Kirk on a second and seven, got us a first down. They had a rough and quarterback penalty to add to it, and I think that really pushed us past that point where you were uh, trying to get down the field to the point where you actually were thinking we were trying to get in the end zone. So uh, we moved from there, and the next thing we do is, is uh, pass completion to Tracy Caldwell on second and five. That was a big play, and now we pick it up first and 10 at the Houston 29. E.D. Jackson at right end, and E.D. will run 13 yards to the Houston 16. Into the fourth quarter we come now. Jackson at right end for five, down to the Houston 11 as the drive continues. It'll be Kerwin Price's turn. He gets the call for a yard. And then Price again tries to slide outside, and Price... We'll pick up three down to the one. And then Ron Dickerson, who has not carried the ball this year, has been the receiver, goes airborne for a one-yard touchdown. It caps an 86-yard drive, 14 plays. 
Well, Houston will mount a drive. This big miss on the extra point. The Cougars will mount a drive and get the ball back. Well, we know who Donald Douglas is. And get right back Donald into the Douglas game. Donald Douglas started as a true freshman at the University of Florida. And a good football team. And Donald Douglas could play wide receiver or running back. He has got great running skills. And in, in, in this uh, fourth quarter, hemming him up, his ability to run the option and run the draw, and at the same time, pass rush and cover receivers became very difficult. Douglas will keep here after he sets this play up and Douglas into the sideline for about seven yards. And now the touchdown by the talented quarterback who came on in relief for David Klingler. It's Arkansas now leading 23-17. The Hogs couldn't sustain a drive on the next two possessions. Douglas started to lead Houston back in the scoring position. And uh, there's a pass interference that's going to help Houston. But watch now a key play in the ball game. This is Michael James. And James is going to take it 75 yards right down past the student body. And the Houston Cougars for the touchdown. Razorback secondary led by James has just been outstanding as you watch the play again in slow motion. James playing the ball beautifully. And this is Douglas. Thought he had his man beat. And James just comes right in front of the receiver. And this is worth looking at a thousand times. You'll hear Jack Crow in a moment talk about what was on his mind as James races back to midfield and then into the Arkansas end zone for the touchdown. The Hogs win it going away. And we'll be back to hear some comments from the coach.